to Calgary and Alberta in Canada. The first time in five seasons that the BMW IBSF Bobsleigh and Skeleton World Cup has returned to this former Olympic track. So famous not only for Eddie the Eagle, but of course also for the Jamaican bobsleigh team making their debut. And that was later immortalized in the film Cool Rullings. Hello everybody, I'm Martin Haven alongside me John Morgan as we get ready for the first of two days of skeleton action on this fast and flowing track. Well, Martin, it uh, again built for the 88 Olympic Games, opened in uh, 87, and uh, no surprise who's got the start record, uh, who's also the leader of the World Cup. It's a long start. The start is so important on this track. It's very flat up top here. No mistakes allowed where the speeds are slow. Then all of a sudden, you start to drop off right here, curve four. Again, a lot of straightaways. You don't see in the modern tracks of today. Four five, six, now they got this three-quarter combination, six, seven, eight right here. And then one of the pivotal parts of the track, Omega, curve eight, boy, you gotta launch yourself here into the, one of the longest, fastest straightaways on the planet, into the Chrysler, big 360 degree whip around, you exit almost going uphill, very dangerous to make any mistakes here. And then you sort of fall asleep here because it's not challenging, but Boy, I was out here for World Cup Luge where it was a very easy track to get down. It was very difficult to get down this track fast. And we have a Canadian that owns the track record, Jane Chanel. We'll see her in the competition. She'll be in both races. This is the makeup race for what was due to be the European Championships at Koenigsegg. Uh, enormous amounts of snow fell and we didn't get any skeleton racing that weekend. So we're doing makeup races today and tomorrow will be the final World Cup races for skeleton. We also have bobsleigh and uh, women's bobsleigh here as well. So there's your entry list, 16 sleds. No Janine Flock, no Jackie Narakot, both of them are ill. Narakot won't slide again this season. And no Jacqueline Lurling either, two-time winner this season. She's back home with her family. And on behalf of everyone in the team and everybody else here, we'll send her our best wishes to her and all the family. You know, so Martin, got one, one good point. Only the people that were entered in the race in Koenigsee are allowed to be in this extra makeup race here in Calgary. Exactly right. But tomorrow we're going to have slightly more athletes because there are not those restrictions. There's Elena Kutzinger. She's never been here before. Kim Marman to Belgium. First time on the track. And because of transport issues getting all the way from Lake Placid to here, they've only had one day of training for Skeleton. Three trips maximum yesterday. Not everybody even took all three. So our entry list, all 16, if they complete the first run safely, will go through into the second heat. Kim Meyermans will be first off. Elizabeth Meyer, the last winner on this track. That was four seasons ago. She'll go off third. And our World Cup points leader, well, Lena Nikitina, she's right in the middle of the field, eighth of 16. Her closest rival now for the Crystal Globe will be Tina Herman, 125 points behind her with 450 on offer. Kim Armans of Belgium starts her 29th World Cup race. First time ever on this track for the Junior World Championship silver medalist. Well, she's the rabbit. We're going to find out. Uh, I think this is her first time here. Yep. First ever time. So she only had, well, she might have been here for ICC, but this no, is she, her first. She never, said she's never slid here. So, so she's got two descents down the track, and she's the first person off. So that's a, a distinction. There you go. That first of two long straights as you said it's an unusual track because of the long straights and makes it a real wider track you've got to keep your form steer as little as possible and be as silent as you can no helmet scratching no toes scratching on the ice little skid down the straight 119.1 kilometers an hour the Canadians love their kilometers. 110, losing speed through the Chrysler, and then building it up again lower down in the track. And this track, I mean, lightning fast this morning. They're going to race. These athletes got to come out here tomorrow morning and race yep. at 8.30. So yeah. you're talking about less than 24 hours. But, Martin, in, in principle, this is like the World Championships next week. Two weeks each day. Exactly weeks. right, yes, exactly right. So this right. is like a warm-up for the World Championships, trying to take a negative to a positive. And, but it it kind of helps as well that because they've had so little training, training. they yeah. get an extra run in or two extra runs in in this first race. So, yeah, so she'll have done three training runs and now 
the first. This is her fourth trip down the track. A little drift to the left. Yeah. Oh, here's the the nice bump out of the Chrysler. It was eight. Long outrun here up to the uh, finish. Next up, Marina Gilardoni, her 68th World Cup race. 11 as a bobsled brake woman. It's now 57 and counting as a skeleton athlete. Three World Cup races here for Marina. She's also raced here in the Intercontinental Cup and the North America's Cup. So she actually probably has more trips down this track than half her Canadian rivals. They don't come to Calgary a lot. She was 16th in World Cup points this year, but she hasn't made all the events. Yeah, she's missed three of the six starts so far. She didn't start in single, though she did train there. But Martin, she was 18th last year's World Cup when she also was wounded quite yeah. a bit too. Yeah. So, you know, it's about, it's about, that's what we, that we go through the field here. We're gonna look at athletes that seem to be never wounded. Yeah. That are constantly just competing, competing, competing. And, and then you got a, uh, athletes who have, like Maria, she won a World Cup medal, European medal a couple years ago, where, you know, she looked like she was really gonna be a promising uh, Swiss athlete, but injuries have really held her back. 2400s behind Kim Marmon. The gap grows a fraction to 2500s back. Yeah, start time. She used to dominate at the start. She used to be 8 10 hundreds ahead of Kim Marmon. Now she's 8 hundreds behind. Peter Park exit of Kreisel, uh, a little unsure of herself. On 10 kilometers an hour. That's about where Kim Marmon was. Marmon had 73.4 miles an hour on the bottom and. Giladoni only has 71.5, 40 one hundredths difference. So top to bottom. Marlins has only been down the track twice. Yep. Is ahead by almost a half second. But Marina is nowhere. No way she's 100%. And here's the very shallow in run all the way up to the top of the yeah, track. Yeah, you don't realize how steep that is, but yeah. you can you could easily fall down there, Martin, coming down, which start i mean this used to be a powerful start look at her hands not even extended you know yeah. what i mean she's she's not the same athlete in that first 50 meters like she used to be and talking here, to her yesterday about the possibility maybe of trying monobob which is an olympic event yeah. in the next games I'm sure there's no rule why you couldn't do skeleton and monobob that's a good point I she, heard did, that. she didn't you know she's not interested in driving a bobsleigh a, a two-man or a woman's bob but monobob well, well, next up is the last woman to win on this track in World Cup racing. That was five seasons ago. I think it was her debut. Or, or, that was her World first Cup season. season. Her yeah. World Cup first season. She was silver in Lake Placid, the season opener, wasn't she? And then won here. It's her home track. She and Benny Meyer, her husband, have got an apartment just a few hundred meters away. Well, it's the first time she's been on the track as Elizabeth Meyer. Yeah. First time she's been on the track this season as well. Five four zero start. Well, that shows how quick Marmon's got away. Yeah, they both at the same time. Five forty. Elizabeth's a better starter than Kim. I'm surprised at that, but again, this is the last person to win in the World Cup here. And Elizabeth suffered suffered a little bit with injuries. Missed the last event. Yeah, she came here and went to Whistler as well just to try and get a few extra trips for the World Championships. Canadian clad and the moose horns on the helmet. She was third in World Cup points at the end of last season. 12 now, but again, she hasn't completed all the races. Nice looking exit, two kilometers an hour in the back. She's half a second up. So this is but much more a front running run from Elizabeth Meyer. Well, we expect yeah. to look at the perfect form, the feet Ooh, together. Just they a little hit. rattle off the final turn. Yeah, but you could hit there because you're past the finish yeah. line. So 540 start, uh, best speed down the track, top speed 73.7 miles an hour with your chin inches off the ice. You see the way apex where that track comes up there, yeah. that's steep, TV does not do it justice. And they need all that outrun to stop the sleds. This is the exit of Kreisel, not perfect. Then into that 11, 12, 13 combination there. And then down here, this is in the finish with the speed Last speed trap is that she had perfect bullet form. She got her head right down there. She knew exactly where she was going. Sling herself into the lead. 
Next up, 24-year-old Renata Kutzner, her 20th World Cup, her first ever appearance at this track. He said, never pre-season -tra pre training, never, ever here before. So she was so excited to get sliding yesterday. Uh, 20th World Cup, that's a nice little milestone for her. Now she should be around the 540s as well, what she got at the start. 545, so just 500s off the leader. But doesn't know the line that Elizabeth Meyer just came down the track in, but of course, Elizabeth Meyer's home track. Well, for the sliders here who haven't been before, and even those who maybe been once five or six years ago, kind of fumbling around in the dark, you're still trying to puzzle it all together. Three tenths back, so this is leaving her currently in third spot, battling with King Marmon to Belgium. She's got two eighth place finishes on tour this year, the first event in Segolda. Yeah. A low line there, holding the line and holding the steer. Feet really apart. 109.4 now, it's the lowest speed we've seen at that stage. For these skeletons. Everybody else has been 110, Elizabeth Archie was 114, 116, 5, Elizabeth Meyer, beg her pardon. Third place at the line, 82 hundreds back. Well, you know, again, first time here. Yeah. Kids, you know, she beat out Joe Rodoni, but Joe Rodoni's wounded. Kim Marlins, she should have been closer to Kim. She's 1,700s off, 1,600s off Kim Marlins. So. Again, you know, that, that's their fourth trip each. So the next one might be a whole yeah. different uh, yeah. thing for each of them. Well, they got to come out tomorrow morning at 8.30. So they've got to do another one in this race There won't as well, be any so. dinners this evening. Uh, but uh, the toes out on the exit of the one <laughs> curve. and Boy, that's where you want to be quiet. Well, next up is Sophia Griebel lies in... Uh, fifth place, fourth place in the World Cup rankings now. German slide is second, third, and fourth. It's been quite a strong season for the German crews. She's 26 years old. Now, she has raced here before in World Cup. She was fifth in the last World Cup race. She's also done Intercontinental Cup, the second tier of sliding. She's a perfect example. If somebody makes a mistake on the German team, there's somebody else waiting to yeah. come through the ranks. She did. She was 29th in World Cup rankings last year because she only got one event. Here she is, fourth yeah. in the World Cup this year. Yeah, she did the two North American races and then slipped out and fetched and took her place. 5-5-0. Five, five, Not the fastest of starters, but giving a tenth away to Elizabeth Meyer. Let's see what she can do on the ice. Perfect bullet form. And again, uh, probably the second most experienced slider on this track. It's been down besides Meyer, the leader. She's a loose slide as well. She started young on ice, so well, she's, she's got probably that been feel. here too. I mean, it's. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure she did World Cup lose, so she uh, got into skeleton a little earlier. Down the straight away now with the skates nice. down the straight. 120.1. That's good speed. Yeah, That's very good speed. She got into third. She started fifth at the start, back to third. Good exit. Now the speed starts to increase. Good height. Nice. Down in the exit. second. She's flying here on the bottom. Oh, 118. Best speed we've seen. No, it ties. Yeah. No, it's not. It's, no, it ties. Fire fast system. Yeah. She was second. Just there, behind. But... Yeah, just yeah. behind by half a mile an hour. So she's 4,600s back. Kim Malman's in third, 6,500s back. Boy, the question that that's a good slider coming down the track there. Yeah. So that's a quite a lead that uh, Meyer has over her. And her and Meyer have been going back and forth for most of the season. Yeah. Sophia never out of the top ten, never on a podium yet this season, though. That's not a bad-looking exit. Just gets that One little toe shift out. to the hips. That's a long yep. straightaway. They don't make straightaways like that on too many of the modern tracks we know of. You didn't see too many straightaways like that last year in Korea. Elizabeth Meyer, the leader, first five sleds down in the first of our two races this weekend. Calgary, Alberta in Canada, Martin Haven, John Morgan watching the seventh and penultimate World Cup race of the Women's Skeleton Tour. Canada lead, next up, Canada's Jane Channel, her 38th World Cup start, Jane. She's never done a World Cup race here, though. She's been here in North America's Cup action only. This should be a good start. This should be better than her teammate Meyer. This is one of the better starters on the planet. The fastest so far is 540, yeah, 532. There we go. That's what we like expect. It. And 
fourth at the opening event in Latvia, but then she's in a slump. Yeah. Uh, don't really understand why she's got double-digit placings the rest of the way. It's got a 10 to 15 for the rest of the season, as you say, at Segulda, a real driver's track. She was in fourth place. Let's see what she's got here in this glider's ice. Four years ago, her and Elizabeth Meyer made their coming out statement at the World Championships at Winterberg when Meyer got third. And then she got fourth, and I went, wow, they got two great Canadian athletes here, but I haven't seen Jane come to the, get under the podium, but I thought she would, she struggled there. Yeah, big steer there. She's only just dropped out the lead over Elizabeth Meyer. Now she's 24 hundreds back. So from the Chrysler down, she's hemorrhaging time. You can see lots of tap dancing. Way off, but you're good enough for second. Really hear the helmet chin yeah. piece dragging. Heard a the lot ice of noise. Yeah. Heard a lot of noise there. And you know, for the athletes, that's all vibration. The ice is not like a speed skating oval where it's absolutely mirror. You know, laying ice downhill, it doesn't stay that smooth. So all that vibration goes right into the skull. So Jane Channel second, Lisbeth Meyer first, Canada first and second. crossover look at the way she got on the take on that something that'll make a curve seven good bullet form there martin but then yeah. here on the entrance to chrysler she made her mistake that little touch there when you're accelerating at the fastest part of the track shades are up over chrysler as well which means the more you steer the harder you dig into the ice next up kimberly boss in netherlands seventh of our 16 starters the 25 year old also never been go, go, on go, this go, track go, before go, in her go, life go, 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 go. so this is a voyage of discovery helped by Kristen Bromley her coach well, she's not the only person that's no. a good start yeah 46 not bad for her Boy, that she came on the wrong side of the straightaway there she flipped it. left side her left or right trying to keep the sled quiet on these long relatively flat straights is really tricky that's where all the time goes this is the classic of your favorite phrase, John. Easy to get down, hard to get, get down, down fast. fast. Yeah. The luge event here in uh, for all three disciplines was very challenging. There was a lot of perplexing rides down the track from yeah. notable athletes, too. When it's pretty straightforward to learn, hard -handed, hard -handed. perfection is absolutely your friend. 6,900s back in sixth position off the fifth fastest start. 120 kilometers an hour, 74 and a half miles an hour. That's the fastest through the final speed gun. So that stopped the hemorrhaging and brought her back a little, but still six Just fastest. Just think what she would have done without the mistake out of Chrysler. Yep. Like Marina Giladoni, she started out as a bobsled as she was in the Youth Olympic Games as a bobsled brake woman, and then deciding that driving was much more her thing. Monobob didn't exist back in 2012, so she came to Skeleton. And again, you know, there's a potential there. Maybe she could try and double up. Well, this is bang. I mean, the you see the spray of the ice go up. And then she gets pulled from left to the right. And really yeah. has to go to the middle of the curve late. Okay. Our World Cup points leader wearing the yellow vest. This is 26-year-old Russian Elaine Nikita. Nikita, Sergei Chudinov there holding this lead. He's been on the podium here in men's skeleton races. So there is knowledge going in, definitely from the coach. Watch out for the track record here at the start. What she owns, 518, was set in November 2013. Well, she didn't do the last World Cup here, but that World Cup, that's when she set the track record. So six years ago, she's also racing NAC since then. 519, just a hundredth off her old record. What well, that's going to go. She She's is. got three more starts. That's history. Yeah. It's going to be very cold tomorrow. tomorrow morning. I don't think she'll do that. I mean, temperatures today are the best we've seen since we got in town. 2,900 up. So using that speed at the start now. And she's really Losing calm. Losing back. I believe she's going to get back. This is going to be a race at the back. Because she always gives up time on these longer tracks. And Martin, this is one of the longer tracks in the field. Still 2,800. Just, but she's giving away so little. Decent exit out of the Chrysler. Right there. Still in the lead. Down to 16. Oh, this is going to be very close. Digits. What were you saying last night about we're not going to get another tie here? 
Elaine and Akita at the line by 400. So the experience of Elizabeth wow. Meyer on the track. I mean, Elizabeth Meyer got beat by 21 hundreds at the top of the track and four at the bottom. This is race up. Look at she's got her hip problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's, that's, let's see her get out of the, that's the hip on That's the hit on the wall out of the Chrysler. Well, this is serious now. She's got yeah. to finish. Yeah. You know, we've already had Jacqueline Lowling leave the World Cup Tour, uh, yeah. but missed these final two races. She was the only one that could challenge. Well, her and Tina Herman and uh, Sophia Griebels. Where did she hit, though, to make that? Maybe I that's think a hip plug right here? Yeah, here. Here? Take a look at the hip on the wall. No, no. it wasn't there. I thought it was exit of the Chrysler, but... No, so maybe she pulled something. Well, Let's that's, again, she, that's here, possible. Here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, there it is. Yeah, that could be the one. Okay, that's the Band-Aid. You okay? Oh, yeah, more than the Band-Aid. Band yeah. Evidence yeah. that our commentary was correct. Yulia Kanakina. Yulia Kanakina of Russia now, 22 years old and only her 24th World Cup start, the former junior world champion. Now she's another electrifying starter. Well, the Russians don't put any non-athletes on top of the hill. That is for sure. This should be in the 20s at least. 19 ties her teammate. They've been doing that all the way through training this season, John, and she's just a little behind in ice craft to Nikitina. She's seventh in World Cup points, medal for the first time ever this year. Yep. And last year, Mark, how much she improved? She was 21st in World Cup points last year. So this young 22-year-old with that type of start, watch out. And her confidence is coming along as well. The has done 41 World Cups now. And this is only the 24th for Kamikina, so she's learning all the time. 14 back, so this could Second be... Second place, this could be... Whoa! She's ahead of her... Uh, ahead of Elizabeth Meyer. Not much more. No, she's way down now. Now yeah. she's going to be scrambling to finish in the top four. Probably fourth to fifth. She's yeah. lost all the speed, you can see it now. It was a huge flop. Fifth. fifth place, all no, the same. That was a back from Griebel. That was a very inspiring that run from Yulia Kamikina. One yeah. World Cup race, she was 13th here. She in made her it, only World Cup. Appearance. She made it pretty exciting for us, Martin. The Chrysler. Now that might be her fastest trip by a full second. Remember, she only had three practice trips last yesterday. Yep. Is this uh, this her first trips here? I uh, know she raced in the World Cup last time out, uh, but four years ago. Yeah, and she's done a couple of uh, ICC weekends here as well so she's since been down then. So she's got a little here. knowledge. But here, look at the height. She's up there with the Jamaican bobsled team, boss. The Climbing exit of Chrysler. way up on the exit. No, no, no. It's no, not where you want to be. Uh, and how much does that impact? Just knock all the wind out of look your sails. Smiling, you though. know. All right, next up, our bronze medalist on the track four years ago, Tina Herman of Germany in her 39th World Cup start. She's only ever been here once. And she's taken away a medal. Is she going to go two for two? Actually, this weekend, she could go three for three. 28 years old, third in World Cup points. She is now Elena Nikita's only challenger, realistically, for the Crystal Globe. Sixth. She was uh, 550, 547, all right, that's, for her, that's about as quick as we're going to see. She was second World Cup points last year, Mark. And she won the World Championship, the World Cup title, the European Cup title in the 2014-15 season, which included the race that was here. Exactly. So, yeah, that was one of five races out of the eight race season that she won. She was pretty dominant in that Jacqueline Rowland showed up and sort of uh, emerges the top German. Yeah, Jack just cruised past her a little bit in the fast lane. Seems and she, she, she can't, Jacqueline can't touch her at the start, but Jacqueline's that gliding. This is pretty good. Decent speed, speed. only Fifth, Maya though. quicker. Here she comes, though. She's bringing it back. Down a third. 32 hundreds. This is what she does so well. Not three, good glider. Former winners on this track for Germany, including Anya Hoover, another one who could find speed at the third. bottom. Third! Wow. Unbelievable! 75 she, miles an hour, the only person to get above the 74 mark. At the Chrysler, she person. was 45 hundreds back. Glider with a decent start. She had the eighth, well, eighth best start, Mark. She used to start better than that. I think the, I think we didn't have quite the Russian rockets there that, that we do now, but... Good technique, look at the yeah. arm coming across, the quiet load on, and then... She the, makes the most of what she's got there, doesn't she? Well, flew on the bottom part of the track. This is up at Omega. 
Well, she's a lover, not a fighter, John. She loves the ice. She doesn't fight it at the start. Martin, three slides separated by four hundredths of a second. Well, that's what we expect at this track because perfection is absolutely key. Jane Channel a long way back in fourth. Okay, here we go. This is our silver medalist last time we were here. And in fact, that was Nora Dee's first ever World Cup medal. 30 years old, 37th World Cup start for her. She has only ever raced here once in that World Cup four seasons ago. And she missed four events, this, or two events already this year, which is why she's back in the 15th spot on the World Cup tour. She was seventh in the World Cup tour last season, the Olympic year. And just over one year ago, one year ago yeah, last she, week, she claimed the Olympic bronze medal in women's skeleton in Pyeongchang. One of three British medals. Yeah. In the world sport of skeleton. Yeah. So I want to say hi to Dom Parsons, who's I'm sure watching back home, finishing his doctorate, and to Liz Yarnold, who's expecting a new Yarnold to join the clan soon. Let's see what Laura's got. Fifth place at the moment, 3,200s back. Exit here. What's the exit? That's pretty decent. Not a bit, not the chance to accelerate six. here. Decent speed as well, slower than Tina Herman. Fourth, up to fourth now, 34. She's, I don't think she's going to catch the top three, but this looks like fourth place. Long time since she's been here, head down fourth. at the line. Fourth place, 3,400 back. She's only 300 ahead of Jane Chanel, who's in fifth. And there's a, there is a yawning gap to the podium from there, isn't there? But again, hasn't been here since 2014-15. December 2014 was the last time we were here. Seems like yesterday. <laughs> well, we have four different nations in the top four spots, Mark. Yeah. Which is pretty nice. This is the uh, exit of Chrysler. So there was a tap. No, not a tap at all. A drift. Yeah. You can see that uphill section. You know, yeah. you don't realize it, but boy, it's a gravity sport. And when you exit going uphill and make a mistake, oh, you can pay for it dearly at the bottom. 31st World Cup race for Kendall Wessenberg of the USA. The 28-year-old from Modesto, California, has never slid here before yesterday. So, not sure if she really? two or three trips in training. I know you'd think, right? America, North America's Cup, never ICC. Never slid here at all. Bronze last week in Lake Placid. A huge boost for the US skeleton team. Yeah, broke up a drought. Year plus drought for yep. metal. 564. Ooh. Well, again, the longer the track, the better it is for Kendall. She's like the Germans, so has it got a getaway? Her only other medal before last week was in San Moritz in yep. 2017 or 18. Yeah. That was the drought. Planet. That was Silver the drought metal. from yeah. the from the St. Moritz, January 18 until uh, last week in the class. So uh, wasn't just her drought. 13 month drought. That's exactly right. Yeah. This is a nice looking slide. Look at this is what she does so well. She lies on the sled, keeps it still and gentle. A little late exit and clatters a wall. 113-2. Very good speed. Only T. Seven. She's flying. Running Seven out of track, place. though. Yeah. Chin down into the final corner. 118.6, 73.7 miles an hour. Well, considering the start right. time deficiency, that's pretty good. Only four. Eight hundreds behind Laura Dees. And how much behind Jane Channel? Five hundred. She's so. 44 hundreds behind Nicotina at the start and only 42 at the bottom. What's that tell you? I mean, she should have been second behind, but out drove Nicotina to the bottom. And, but the start deficiency. Well, one, this, this track here, Martin, it's all about the start time. This was an excellent curve eight exit. You can see her trying to keep it in the middle, a little toe touch. Those toes act like rudders sometimes. And here, a little tap on the exit. Look at that uphill. The police, I don't ask. Uh, Ilko, our cameraman there, getting her to wait. They can do that today. It's only minus four. Tomorrow, when it's minus 24, I think they're waiting. Next up, Mimi Reneva, two World Cup wins. To her credit, the second of which came at the venue where she claimed her first. Samaritz in Switzerland just about a month ago. The 30-year-old in her 22nd World Cup race now. Did she win gold there two years in a row? Yeah. Uh, also, uh, three years ago and then this okay. year. Two years okay. ago. Then this year. So Mimi. 
three North America's Cup podiums, most recently in January 2015. Fourth in the Lake Placid World Cup last weekend. And before we ever got to meet her, I knew her name well because she was setting new records all over North American tracks. Third best start behind the two Russian female rockets. Tenth behind, this is a good looking run. This is gonna put her in with a shot. Four hundreds cover one, two, three. And then four, five, and six are covered by five hundredths of a second. Pretty good form there. Excellent exit. Look, she's in the green. Here we go, Mimi. Wow. Fantastic. Look, this is what she did in Samaritz. She's gonna be two tenths ahead at this pace. She's flying. Is this her happy place as well? 120.4, not quite as quick as Tina Herman or Elena Nikita. 300 up. Oh, yes. boy, what a slide. Boy, now, Martin, uh, the track conditions, we can't question that. That's a lot for her to come way back, you know, in this position. Yep. 13th down the track. Did it get warmer? I mean, that's a huge amount of time. Well, don't forget the top three were covered by 400. She's just gone a full third of a second quicker than all of them. And she, and she was close to the Russians. Only yeah. 10 hundredths back at the start. Yeah. Yeah. Toe out at the as the exit of the grooves. And look at these. Look at these runs. Look at this line here. The line out of Chrysler was the best of anybody. So. You know, we were a little shocked at the 33. Hi, Calgary. Up. Hi, Canada. Sending out kisses and love. <laughs> well, I'd be happy, too, if I was that much ahead of the field. Was, that was the run that everybody else is going to be watching Whoa. tonight, going, how did she do that? Including our 10th World Cup starter, Madeline Smith of Great Britain, the 24-year-old, raced here in January and November 2017. So she's got four ICC starts in the last couple of seasons. Yeah. Ever World Cup start. Best result this season in eighth place, and that was in Samaritz. She's had two top ten finishes, 5.43. Not bad. Yeah, that's right among our sort of second, third, fourth, fifth starters. 13th in World Cup points. Best finish, a ninth in Samaritz, yep. the British home track. You know, Martin, big improvement. You look at it where they were last year to this year. This is a young athlete, 27th to World Cup points last year, 13th this year. Well, she only, only made a few World Cup starts last year. This is now uh, sixth this season, seventh this season. She's done all this season. But just want to keep going up that elevator. 112.5, 69.9 miles an hour. Eight. That's good cool speed. Eight all the way down the track. Nice, solid top ten run for Madeline Smith of Great Britain. I wonder how many runs she's got down the track. Seventh, not bad. She did uh, ICC races twice in the 16, 17, 17, 17 18 season. Probably so, got 20 yeah. trips, 16 trips down yeah. there. She didn't get many yesterday. No nope. training. Again, everybody, the sleds got here. Half of them got here on time, the other half didn't, so they had to cancel the day of training. Yeah. And then like two, uh, days of two days of yeah. training, and then next thing you know, they have to get three in one day, which it's hard to take three in a day. And they've been sitting around our hotel just waiting for something to happen. <laughs> of course, it was 30 below outside. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not a bad exit. Nothing like Mimi Rivera that was there. That was Mimi Rivera was textbook. And then down here in the bottom part of the track, little mistake there, Martin. Yep. She went all the way from eight to seventh. Might have been Hi everyone, that thanks mistake. for watching, back home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two to go in our first heat. Savannah Grayville of the USA, 30 years old, her 25th World Cup start. There's another little milestone clicked up. Caleb Smith behind. And like a teammate, I gotta believe she's been down the track. Yeah, she's raced here in World Cup. She was 11th the last World Cup here. That's her only World Cup appearance, but she's raced in North America's Cup, and she's done Intercontinental Cup, the second tier of sliding as well. So she has track knowledge. Like her teammate, 64 start, which is, means she just have to be a perfect run down the track to try and challenge. Feet apart. Sled stable. 15th at the start, still 15th on the splits. Now, decent run down the straight will help. 
on 20 kilometers an hour, 74 and a half. Couple of K's down on the Uriba and a hit on the exit at Chrysal. Everybody's shoulders get a bit of hard work there, John. Well, second back, you know, a couple of mistakes, a couple of hard hits. Efficient start and she's in 13th. 13th, all right, so she found something down at the bottom that uh, a couple of the others yep. had a wild ride. 15th at every trap, six different speed traps on the way down. She was 15th, the last one she was 13th. You know, given another two or three hundred meters. So she's tied with Kimberly Boss for 13th and ahead of Marina Gilardoni. In fact, she started 564. The only other start in the 60s was Kendall Wessenberg, her teammate, also 564. Wessenberg eighth, and Savannah Graybill tied 13th. I'm still pretty shocked with the run that Mia yeah. Rivera. I know. <laughs> wow. I think she's just rocks everybody back on their heels a little. Final slider in this first heat, Kimberly Murray. Uh, the British slider has competed everywhere this season apart from Lake Placid. Sixth World Cup start for her. Best, this is her rookie season. Best finish, the time from that yeah. British track in St. Moritz. Uh, another of Woody's wonders. Oh, she's 20th in second, she was 10th in Innsbruck. 10th in Innsbruck, so, I take that back, yeah. So, Eagles, if you can glide there... You can glide here. And there's more gliding room as well, so if she can get a decent uh, run here, she's going to put her well up into the top 10 as well. Let's see, look at this. Nice, quiet fall. Shoulders pressed down on the sled, keep the air true nicely. You know, the ice here in Calgary, Martin, is super dry. They have two weeks with super cold temperatures, no ability to put water on the ice, so it's a little bit tough. It's crackling, it's crackling isn't it? You can really hear it. It's, uh, it's getting quite brittle. That inside information came to me from Tyler Sites, the track manager. Well, if anyone would know who Tyler's the man. Top 10 run at the moment from Kimberly Murray. 114-1, 70.9. only to Tina Herman. She Here we go. Into the top, eight, maybe. top six, top seven. At it's the line, speed. Kimberly Murray, 10th place. 90-100 spec. All right, take little that. Mistake, little mistake on the outline of the finish. You saw her get really, really high. Doesn't seem like much, Martin, but there was some time lost there. You saw Eric Benotis there and James, their coach, and uh, he was a little worried earlier in the week. We were persuading him that if you didn't make it from Syracuse, he was going to be in the booth today. He was so relieved when he saw you at breakfast. I can't tell you. So this is uh, down on the exit of Chrysler. She does a little drifting, but here the up exit of Chrysler, a yeah. little skid. Yeah. But where she really lost her time was on the finish curve, when she was really high on the outside. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Kimberly Murray, this is the makeup race. She was on the entry list, like all of these women in Koenigsee, Bavaria, where we didn't get to race. So we're making up here that lost race. And Mimi Reneva, not sure how much she would have thought she would do in Koenigsee, but here on the Canadian track, she's got a double attempt to win World Cup races. Reneva is in a different yeah. planet than everybody else. Yeah. That was She had a great oh, run. Sending out kisses and love. <laughs> well, I'd send out kisses and love too if I could yeah, drive I, down the track like I think that. Canada are sending them back. Mimi Reneva by a third of a second. And then look behind for silver and bronze, 400s. Then the big jump to Laura Dees, Jane Channel, Maddie Smith, Kendall Wessingberg. That's 800s covering that group. Sophia Griebel a little in no man's land ahead of Kimberly Murray, Yulia Kanakana, just a hundredth apart. And then a dead heat for 14th position. So we've got lots of close racing to go. Now, the second heat comes up a little later this afternoon than normally would be the case. We've got men's skeleton next. The women are back on ice at 1,700 local, which is uh, 17 and 5, 20, no, 17 and 7, 2,400 midnight GMT. Can't count. We'll see you then. Stay tuned for the men.